Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share um, a quick video with you and it's um, some handmade flowers that I've been trying over the last, oh, I don't know, month or so. You know, I just do a couple here and there and then once I've got enough then I, I would share them with you. Um, some of them you will recognise, which is the um, loom. A flower that I did a tutorial on. So this is the first one I did. I used the another one on the book um, that I showed you. Um, but I did also try these out in some other colours. Um, Dd, hi Dd, um, had sent me some um, sari silk in the pinks and the purple. So i done a couple in the pink and the sari silk, in, when, when they're a colour they're sort of like variants of the colour where they almost slightly um, tea dyed, uh, not tea dyed, di um, tie dyed, you know where the colour varies throughout. Um, so I love the way it's got the varying shades of pink in it and I think they look really beautiful. I love this this um, variant of pink. I only had a very small amount of the, the purple but again it looks so cute. I think that would look really stunning with alongside black. I really do. I should have probably put a, a black pearl in the centre but again I love that. So I do have the tutorial on the, the loom flower which I will pop down below because some of these I do have a tutorial on and some I don't. Um, the puffy flowers, I've done a, a few small double ones in different sizes. Again I do have the tutorial on the puffy flowers and I will pop that down below. Um, I do love the double ones, they do look really cute and um, they just add a different dimension so they're cute. So I will pop the tutorial for the puffy flowers down below as well and the others on here are just a mixture of different things I tried so this was um, like a really tatty rose that I tried And most, all of these actually, I think, are sewing. Yeah, they are. Uh, so I do like how that one turned out. Um, I made more of these because I love these. I did um, a wedding brooch with this flower on, and these are quite large, but I do love these flowers. These do take quite a long time to make these ones, and I haven't done a tutorial. Um, <clears throat> simply because of how long they take to make but if I do get some free time I will try and do one but I, I have to say I do love these flowers and I love the size of them and they do look beautiful as a brooch um, this is a small one just a kind of looks like a carnation in a way. Love that one too. I've done a couple of small um, velvet ones. <clears throat> In two styles. This one is like the centre of this this here and um, because it's velvet it did, did pull it in tighter. It's not as loose and it did pull it in tighter and this is just a small one in a different style. Um, I've done more of a sort of like open rose. Love that one too. This one's a mixture of the tatty rose and some lace around it. This one kind of looks like a snowflake in a way. <laughs> I'm really happy with that one. Uh, this is a doily 
flower that I did, just using doilies and layering them. It's quite a big one. This one I did and I done a slight puffy flower in the centre and I'm actually not as keen on this one. I'm not thrilled with this one at all. But, you know, I do like to just try them and see what what I think of them and then, you know, I tried it at least. <laughs> um, this is another small one with um, tool and a little doily centre. Um, oh, the, this is another one of these, but smaller. With um, some like uh, frayed fabric behind it. I um, you, as you can see, I'm halfway through one right now. <laughs> so that's on there as well. Right and finally, this one. Uh, again, this is another one I was just playing around with. And um, I'm not quite sure about it. I keep looking at it and thinking, do I like it, don't I? Um, so I'm still undecided on this one. But, um, do let me know what you think of them. Like I say, I have a tutorial on a couple of them, but not all of them. Um, and I just have this... Um, tea set that I sit them on when I do them, <coughs> just to keep them in one place. <laughs> I do um, like to have flowers dotted around the place. <laughs> I'm sure we all do. Um, but yeah, so they're the fabric flowers that I've been making recently, but do please let me know what you think. and. Um, I will pop the two tutorials of the ones that I do have tutorials on down below in the description box and um, hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Bye for now.